Waldo's hamburger is the best hamburgers in the entire universe. They're to die for. He uses his very own special secret ingredients. Here you go. Two Aldo's cheeseburger supreme. Enjoy. Excellent. Hey, hey, hey! Go on, chicka! Don't worry about chewing, swallow it! But what are they doing? Training. Training for what? What else? Aldo's annual hamburger eating challenge. All the burgers you can eat, plus $100 first prize. But only if you can break Johnny Vignardi's record. 20 hamburgers in 15 minutes. 20 hamburgers? A person would have to be a real pig to eat that many. Come on! Eat it! Go! I need more sauce. Give us it! Get lost, it's mine! Chica needs it! I had it first! My photo! Gotta go, see ya! Come on, Chica! It's ruined! Sorry, Aldo. It was an accident. It's gonna cost $50 to fix this. $50? You're paying for this, Kate, or I'm banning all you kings from my burger van. It's so unfair. Where am I gonna find that kind of money? You could always win the burger eating competition. Get real. There's no way I could eat that many burgers. Maybe you couldn't, but what about Mark? Of course. Mark the human eating machine. Mark has an appetite that has to be seen to be believed. Except if the food's being cooked by Gemma. I call it mystery stew. It's my specialty. <laughs> but it's not just Mark. Everyone hates Gemma's cooking. Somehow I need to talk Mark into helping me without letting him know I need the money. Hi, Mark. How's it going? Terrible. What's wrong? In football, my goal scoring rate is down from last season. And my batting average is hopeless compared with last term. What if my whole sporting career is all downhill from here? Eureka, I struck gold. The perfect way to get Mark to help. Maybe you're just not trying the right sport. I've tried every sport, believe me. Not the one I have in mind. In this one, you could be a champion. You could even break a record. A record? A world record. One that hasn't been broken for 20 years. I don't get it. Whenever I cook, no one wants to eat it. They're so ungrateful. Still, waste not, want not. I'm going to give it to the poor people. Well, the only poor person I know. Weird Wanda. Weird Wanda's not exactly my favourite sort of person, but she's OK in a bad-tempered, ungrateful sort of way. That's funny. The door's open. Anyone home? It's Gemma King with a gift to brand your poor, wretched life. What a shame. She's not here to gratefully accept my gift. I'll just put it in the fridge. Half-eaten food and a cup of cold tea. Wherever she went, she left in a hurry. Hello? Wanda? Miss Wilson? Very strange. But eating's not a sport. It depends on how you look at it. If there's a record up for grabs, it could be right up your alley. 20 hamburgers in 15 minutes? That's mega. There's no way I could do that. Of course you can. I've seen the way you eat and you have a gift. You reckon? Absolutely. No questions about it. You're a total pig. Um, food eating champion. And don't forget the prize money. That's right, $100 split three ways. No way. I'm doing the eating, I get the money. But it was our idea. How about 50-50 split? I get 80, I'll give you 10 bucks each, spotter's fee. That's my final offer. should have known he wouldn't fall for it. Still, any money is better than none. I don't like the look of this. Yeah, have you seen him eat? He's a total guts. We may have to do something about Mark King. But people just don't walk out in the middle of a meal. It's like she'd vanished into thin air. Don't worry, one that will be fine. But what if something's happened to her? What if she's had an accident or, or, or fell down a well? Trust me, they don't call a weird wonder for nothing. She takes off all the time. Where does she go? Who knows? Some people reckon she's got this cave up in the hills. A cave? Other folks reckon she's really a millionaire. Of course, no one in the right mind would believe Wanda a millionaire. But perhaps I'd better check it out. Just in case. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Kingy, did we hear right? You trying to beat our dad's burger eating record? Maybe. No smart move, Kingy. Yeah, not smart. Those burgers might not be too good for your health. Actually, Mark's champion eater. He can out eat anyone. He can't out eat Maria. Maria? Well, someone has to defend our family honour, and that someone is me. You don't stand a chance. There's no way I can out eat Maria. She's the biggest gut in the school. You can't back out now. I need that money. Mark's a sportsman. Time to appeal to his sense of fair play. Mark, it's time you made a stand for freedom, justice, and the money. I still don't reckon I could out eat Maria. You can with our help, but you will have to put in some serious training. Training? For eating? Right, first stop after school, Aldo's. Here you go, one Aldo special, hot off the grill. That's got onion on it. I hate onion. Well, that's too bad, my friend. The rules of the competition say everyone must eat the same burgers. Well, all the burgers have got onion. There goes a chance of a world record. There's no way I can eat onion. Then we'll just have to train you how to eat it. Miss Wilson, hello! It's open, just like yesterday. Hello? Hello? The food just got on the table. My stew's still in the fridge. I knew it. Something has happened to her. What do you think you're up to? Miss Wilson. What are you doing here? Breaking and entering by the looks of things. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be down a well. Where I've been and what I've been doing is none of your business. Now, go away. I'm expecting a call. <coughs> How rude. And after all the trouble I went to to give her my nice stew. Here. This smells so bad it must be yours. Get it out of here before it stinks up me fridge. What a horrid, ugly old woman. I thought she'd be grateful being so desperate and poor and penniless and... A limousine? It couldn't possibly be going to weird wonders, could it? Your car awaits, madam. He just called her madam. Weird wonder being driven in a limousine? Where would she get the money for that? Other folks reckon she's really a millionaire. Yeah, millionaire. millionaire. They're right. Wanda's rich. Filthy limousine driving rich. Remember what they say. No pain, no gain. Pain? Sort of pain. The first step to beating food hates is to confront them straight on. What's this for? You'll see. On this plate, I have a slice of melon, a slice of apple, and a slice of onion. Oh, get away from me. It smells revolting. Oh, what's that for? If you can't smell it and you can't see it, then you won't know what it is. Open wide. Can't taste a thing. Congratulations. You've just eaten onion. I have. World record, here you come. So, want to turn up? As a matter of fact, she did. Told you. No need to worry at all. So, I suppose you've known Wanda for ages? For yonks. And she'd have to be the most poorest person you'd know? Yeah, definitely. So, I assume she gets lots of charity? Lots of help from lots of well-meaning people? Why are you so interested? Oh, no reason. I'm a wake up to your game, Miss Rich Weird Wanda Wilson but I'll give you one last chance to admit the truth. I trust Madame Enjoyed her stroll. You nearly scared me out of my wits. Look at the house. It's such a mess. Is it the maid's day off? The who? Where have you been this time? Out lunching with the stockbroker, counting your loot, buying more real estate? What are you going on about? I know your little secret, and I think it's time you came clean to everyone around here. What do you say? I say, I've had enough of your stupid nonsense. Now go away. Fine then, but don't say I didn't give you a chance. Now I'm going to expose her for the cheat that she is. Starting with the Meals on Wheels lady. What a lovely job you do. Giving out free food to those less fortunate. 
Why, thank you. And Miss Wilson is one of our most needy clients. Really? I hate to gossip, but that's not what I've heard. Wait till she hears this. Here you go. One Aldo special, fresh from the grill. You got the money to fix my picture? Uh, don't worry, Aldo. I'm working on it. <laughs> OK, champ? On your mark? Get set? but you chew too slowly. Too slowly? You'll never beat Maria if you eat at that speed. Venetia is good, but not that good. Don't worry, it's all in your technique. You have to spend less time chewing and more time swallowing. A raw history. No more gum, Greg. My girls are killing me. You have to keep chewing in order to strengthen them. We brought you here to see the Eating Dream Team. Who's that? Isn't it obvious? I can't eat like that. You have to eat like that. The dingoes are your role models. The dingoes are seriously scary eaters. I can't eat like that. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. No, it's not. It's inspiring. Right. Now for phase two of your training. Get set, go. You can't eat like that, you'll get indigestion. He's in training. What for? The world's largest stomach explosion. Hello? Is this the church charity league? Who I am is not important, but there's something you should know. It's about Miss Wonder Wilson. Come on, Mark, you can do it. Hold on. Come on. I understand your organisation does free cleaning for Miss Wonder Wilson. Well, you might want to change your mind after what I have to tell you. Come on, Mark, you can do it! Go! Yes. Go! Yes. yes! Yes, well done. No more. I'm so full. I need to lie down and have a rest. No time for rest. You've got some running to do. Running? Absolutely. That's phase three of your routine. You need to hit the road and work off phase two so you've got room to start eating again. Which is phase four. But... It's the last day to go and you want to break that world record, don't you? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> do it? You bet. He'll get the message now. Let's get out of here. I quit. Quit? You can't quit. I'm fat and I'm bloated and my pants don't fit anymore. If this is what winning a world record feels like, then you can keep it. Please, Mark, you can't give up now. Kate's right, a good night's sleep and you'll feel much better. For the last time, no. If it means so much to the Vignardis, then let them win, because I don't care anymore. Do you think we pushed them too far? We had to try. There's no way he could have beaten Maria without putting in the training. Tragic, isn't it? Because now we'll never know just how good he could have been. <laughs> Mark, what is it? Squash hamburger and a note. Unless you want to end up like this hamburger, you won't go in the competition tomorrow. The Vignatis. This is getting very ugly. The Vignatis really mean business. There's no way Mark will enter the competition now. Who do they think they are? They can't just break into my room like this. Mark, please. We're too young to end up as burger meat. You remember what Maria said? Her family honour is at stake. Well, it's the same here. I'll show them not to mess with the kings. Looks like I was wrong. <laughs> Doing. You can't just barge in here and take my food away. The food's for needy people, not for people like you. People like me? What are you talking about? What's going on? Are you deaf? What's going on? Justice has been done. Cheats never prosper. Not with Gemma King around. Isn't it a beautiful day? It's so nice to see everybody out enjoying themselves. Are you feeling all right, dear? Why shouldn't I be, Mummy? You're so unnaturally cheerful. That's because it's not just hamburgers on the menu today. Wonder's Goose has been well and truly cooked. No sign of Mark. Looks like our little plan worked. Hope you're feeling hungry, because I could eat a horse. And speaking of horses, 
I found this in my bed. Ladies and gentlemen, Aldo's annual hamburger eating challenge is about to begin. Would the contestants please take their seats? This is the final call for contestants. You have five seconds to... May the best day to win, Maria. I intend to. And introducing our official starter, the all-time Aldo hamburger eating champion, Johnny Vignati! Yeah! Yeah! Don't forget the uh, record you're all trying to break. That's 20 hamburgers in 15 minutes. Over to you, Johnny. Contestants, ready? Ring a ding. Go! <laughs> With this. No, not really. But some things have to be learned the hard way. All right. Beautiful. Oh no, one down. any longer. I'm going on the diet. Wow, look whose car's here. How do you know Dimitri? Dimitri? Who's Dimitri? The guy who owns Limo, Addo's brother. Addo's brother? Y you mean, it's not... I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Making hamburgers. Not that it's any of your business, Miss Goody Two Shoes. That limousine outside, it is yours, isn't it? Mine. <laughs> I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Every year I help out Aldo with his burger competition, collecting the secret herbs and spices. And every year Dimitri drives me around collecting the meat and buns. You mean you're not rich? What? Please tell me you're some misguided millionaire pretending to be poor and ripping off the system. That's exactly what the Meals on Wheels lady called me. Please, Miss Wilson, there's no need to get upset. It was just a little misunderstanding. And now I'm going hungry because of it. Hey, Wanda, there's some lady from the church charity group looking for you. And she seems pretty upset. Time to make some more phone calls, I think. <laughs> All right. Come on, Chica. Keep going.
can't believe I've done this. My own record. It's the best feeling ever. You out ate me, Kingy. Fair and square. The biggest scuts won on the day. But I'm surprised you like the burger so much. After what Sophia found crawling all over them at the back. What? <laughs> have the prize money now, Aldo? Then I can give you that $50 I owe you. Sorry, Kate, no can do. But Mark won. Well, look, the rules clearly say that you have to eat your burgers and keep them down for at least two minutes to officially break the record. Tough luck, Kings. Looks like you didn't make it. Well, look, the judge's decision is that Johnny Vignati's record still stands only now. It's been tied by his wonderful daughter, Maria. <laughs> Those vignettes. If I didn't know better, I reckon that whole cockroach story was a fake. Really? I bet you they didn't even find any on the hamburgers. I've got some good news. Johnny Vignati was so happy he's paying for a new frame photo of him and Maria. Well, at least I'm off the hook. But I've also got some bad news. What's this? The bill. 20 hamburgers at $3 each. 60 bucks? All losing contestants have to pay for their burgers. You only get them free if you break the record. $60 divided by three is 20 bucks each. Where are we going to get that much money? There's only one thing to do. Start you training for next year's competition. I'd have to have rocks in my head. Mark? Oh, hang on! Can't we at least talk about this? About time, young lady. Where have you been? Cleaning. Cleaning? And washing. And dining. Whatever for? Someone has to do it. Don't they, Gemma? Yes, Miss Wilson. Who on earth is this? Uh, this is Miss Wilson. She's our guest for dinner. Thanks very much for inviting me round. Now, what's for dinner? I'm starving. <gasps> Steak and kidney pie, my favourite. Gemma, it's just for a night or two. Until the Meals on Wheels lady returns to help her. Night or two? Oh, this is marvellous. Race get at the bottom of the plate. <laughs> The next time I see a poor person who behaves like a millionaire, I'm going to keep my mouth firmly shut. <laughs> 